In the previous episode, we hauled our little narrowboat out of the water and spent a gruelling three days washing, sanding and blacking her hull. And with the most exhausting job out of the way, we're making the most of this brilliant dry dock and checking off some overdue jobs before we relaunch her back into the water. The finish is in sight. <laughs> Last job of the day, we've got a load of rusty patches on the paintwork bit. So we're going to put some fur tan on, which is basically a thing that eats rust and turns it into not rust. So I'm just running around, scraping off the paintwork, and the Amy's going to come along and put fur tan on it. It feels so wrong doing this to Gigi, but got to treat the rust or it's just going to get worse. Tools down for the day. It's all ready for tomorrow and we're going to go celebrate. Can you guess how? Guess that. <laughs> and chips adjacent food. <sighs> See you in the morning. What a lovely view. Good morning. Today is our last full day out of the water as we're going back in bright and early tomorrow morning. Hopefully we should be getting some welding done today. We had loads of issues with DPD, but an amazing boater that we've met here called Ali might be able to save the day for us. So we'll fingers crossed for that. If you didn't already know, these are the anodes. And as you can see, they've got loads of little pits in them because they're just a sacrificial bit of metal. But most of them are quite bulky. And because they're going on the side of the boat, obviously we don't really want them to stick out more than this. So we were hoping, which we did originally order, to eat, they sell like slimline ones. But Ali's just sent us a picture of the ones in the marina. It doesn't look like they're slimline ones. We're gonna ask the welder later, are non-slimline ones better than none at all? or were they too risky in terms of being caught and stuff? But the good thing is, is that worst case scenario, the surveyor still said that obviously it's ideal to put anodes on now, but if we need to put them on in a couple of years with the rest of the welding work, that's okay. It just means that for 18 months, she won't be as protected as she could be. And we'll have more pits to fill. So I really want them on. I'll just cover the whole hull in them. All right, let's get on with the jobs for the day. I'm not sure if you can see in here, but Wes did a cracking job yesterday at hoovering out loads of water and giving it a bit of a scrape. Pray for water, then the Titan can come to play. Now I'm going to go in with some fur tan and just put it on this area here. It's only surface rust, but just going to treat it a bit. Probably not going to paint it or anything, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> While Amy's doing that back-breaking job, I'm going to go and wipe off the excess fur tan on the rest of the hull. Because, as you can see, it's worked its magic and all this that was bright orange is now black, which means that it has converted the rust into not rust. So you just have to wipe off the excess before you paint on it. We have anodes! Ali, you are a lifesaver. Time to prime. It's probably going to look worse before it looks better. The irony that the number one rust beater tin has gone rusty. Wes has been doing the really important jobs 
Polishing the engine. Polishing the engine. I've just wiped all the water on the top of it. Really essential. Amy's just said, wow, that's nice. Still looks like a grubby old engine bay. Right, I've done most of the boat now. Amy's just doing the easy finishing touches. I've just been moaning. I don't want to paint. I don't mind doing the top coat. The top coat's fun and satisfying, but this bit's boring. There we go, she's looking a little bit spotty now. But she isn't looking rusty. Yay! Oh, she's gonna look so good. We gotta leave it now for about six hours and then come out with the top coat. coat. Oh, I missed a bit. Oh, I'm not there. Lunch time and it's time for leftover Chinese takeaway, but we can microwave it. The joys! <laughs> it's fucked up the lens. Just been sorting a couple of bits out while we're waiting for the welder. One thing I think I might tackle is this roof box. We've just had loads of old bits of wood that we've stored with the mind to build stuff with. Never really had the time or the facilities to do it. What better place than to have a look and see what we've got, see if we can use any of it? Quite a lot. I feel like there's going to be a lot of spiders in there. Looks like we've got a few more bits of wood we can use for shelves that we've wanted for ages. Let's get sanding. We've got a lot of stuff out, so Reef is crying because he can't get through. There he is. What are Reef is? What do you do in there? Finally added the rest of the grip tape on the front of the boat. For some reason, we were short of like three bits, so we haven't had grip tape on one side. So we're finally doing it after three years. Yeah. Coming down this section is always a little bit sketchier because you run out of grip tape, but no longer. Yeah, maybe it's short. I can't see where it's straight. Can you make, can you do it? Oh. Nice. Hooray, it goes all the way down now, rather than 95% of the way down. Nice. Time to paint the red. That's the bottom of the paint tin. Yes, yeah, so it's rusted and I actually put my finger through it. So we have to pour it out the bottom, but I think we're going to use most of what's left anyway. Yeah, and we're just going to have to, we can't keep that anymore, which is a shame. But she needs a lot, oh. On the other side, she needs a lot of red, so. Okay. Going to put some music on and get cracking.
so glad that Mike was able to help us out last minute and get these anodes on after quite a bit of stress sorting them out. He's a fellow boater that lives in the marina and is also a qualified welder and it was really cool to see him at work, even if it was a little bit scary watching him blast Gigi's hull. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. They're on! They're only just, I mean, probably a little bit too, but he said we'll be all right. But yeah, makes me feel better that they're on now. That was a big worry of ours, so we're sorted. The ones that we had ordered online would have been a little bit more flesh, but yeah. Should be good and it's better than not having them. What a relief though, because that means that next time we come to black it, there should be a lot less pitting, which means less of this and less risk of holes in the boat, which is always a win. And now we're just whipping around, trying to finish off little bits of paint, and then we've got to tidy the place. Ready and for 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is when we're going back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but we've only got the cream and the blue to do, which shouldn't be as bad as the red. Yeah. To be fair, you don't have to black these because apparently it's galvanised steel which doesn't rust. It also just means that any sneaky little bits of steel that might be poking out are going to be covered. Look how satisfying it is. Wow. Bosh. Okay, it's lunch time. <laughs> Beans! Oh. Hello. What was the last thing we filmed? I have no idea what the last thing we filmed was, but we were touching up the little bits of paint around the edge and then suddenly it's 20 to 1. <laughs> we helped Ali out because um, Ali had to put like loads of tarpaulin on her boat, so we helped her out with that. It took quite a while and we were more than happy to help because obviously she went and got our anodes for us and is the whole reason that we have anode, extra anodes on our boat now. So we were always gonna be willing to drop everything to help out. So that was nice that we could repay that. Yeah, we were glad we were able to repay the favor. After that, we just did a little few more touch-ups. And then just tidied up, which took quite a long time as well. Yeah, but it was very boring. So, um, now we are having some dentists. It is 20 to 1. I have work in seven hours and we're going back in the water in not many hours. But you need to stay tuned to tomorrow morning because we're going to show you the final reveal of Gigi looking beautiful. See you tomorrow. Time to put the fenders on. I'm running on fumes. I'm really trying to be like, we're going back here, let's go. But the body's just saying no. I haven't slept well the last two nights either, so that's always fun. Time to go back in the water. 
I'm nervous. It should be fine. I don't want her to because all that hard work with the paint is going to get scuffed immediately. What do you reckon in the comments? How long before we chip that paint? <laughs> angle than is naturally so he's got to just make sure that no water's coming out of the weed hatch <laughs> So glad to be back to normal. Should we go back to bed then? Poops is like, why you woke me up at this time? <laughs> up just in time to try and blow me into all these boats which is always fun i think we'll be all right and just like that the first scuff <laughs> well we are out of the marina back in the water it all seems pretty good. We've already scuffed the paint up a bit, which is nice. It went off pretty much without a hitch. The only thing we found is one of the drawers has just fallen over and stuff's everywhere. So we've got to clean that up. Well, that's not ideal. But I don't think anything broke. It's been an absolutely exhausting week, but we're really so proud of what we've achieved. We've done so much. Huge thank you to anyone that's helped us this week and yes. Aylesbury Canal Society. Yeah. You've been amazing. Would highly, highly, highly recommend it if you're thinking of doing any like DIY stuff on the boat. Absolutely incredible. So helpful and just, yeah, just lovely place Made to be. this week much easier. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this rolling episode. <laughs> we make two vlogs a week all about living on a narrow boat, so check those out and subscribe if you haven't already. Huge thank you to the Chip Pals on Patreon. And we'll see you next time.
If you're interested in becoming a chip pal, check the link in the description. And a big thanks to Christine, Matt and family on Foxglove, John, D, Coralie and someone for the chips today, and also Rough Paddling and Tracy for the super thanks. Thank you so much. Check us out on our socials for photos and stuff, and we will see you next time.